Hi, this is Donna Esten, and we're going to talk about measuring lengths when you're knitting. When a pattern instructs you to work to a certain length, like the body, the armholes, or the sleeves, it's referring to the blocked finish length. If you're working with superwash yarns or a lace pattern that will grow during blocking and you keep knitting to what's listed in the instructions, it'll be too long. And this is one of the main causes of frustration when knitting garments with superwash yarns or lace patterns. So I'm going to show you two ways to get your correct length. The first can be used if you have knit a good gauge swatch that is four inches or longer. Wet block it, dry it, unpin it, shake it out, let it rest, and then take your row gauge. I have 32 rows over four inches, eight rows per inch. My pattern says to knit until armhole measures eight inches. So eight inches times eight rows is 64 rows. If you're working with a repeating pattern like my chart here, you can take this one step further and find out how many times to work the chart. My chart has 16 rows, 64 rows divided by 16 is four. So I know I need to work this chart four times in order to get my 64 rows, which will measure eight inches after it's blocked based on my gauge swatch. This is what patterns mean when they say measure lengths by counting rows. You work to the number of rows, not to a measured length. If you don't have a good gauge swatch to go by or you don't trust your row gauge, then just stop knitting a couple of inches before the pattern says. This is an unblocked lace cardigan and you can see how bunched up and puffy it is. It, right now when I lay it out, I'm measuring about five and a half inches, but I know this is gonna stretch to a longer length. So let's stop here, I'll wet block it. We'll come back and remeasure and I'll have a better idea of exactly how much I've knit. So I've marked the row with a pin that I started my armhole bind offs on. It's all blocked, dried. Now let's remeasure. And it looks like when I measure my armhole that I am about six and a half inches. So I need to knit an additional one and a half inches or 12 more rows. Use either method used by counting your rows against your gauge swatch or stop your knitting, block it, and remeasure. Either method and you'll have the confidence that the links will be exactly what you want them to be. I hope this helps and happy knitting!